Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving into some major news from the world of hip hop. DaBaby, the renowned rapper behind hits like Suge, has recently taken a plea deal in a significant legal case. Let's break down what this means for him and the ongoing developments. DaBaby, whose real name is Jonathan Kirk, faced a felony battery charge stemming from an incident back in 2020. He and his entourage were filming a music video on a rental property in Los Angeles when a confrontation with the property owner, Gary Pagar, turned physical. Pagar alleged that DaBaby assaulted him after disagreements over filming arrangements. According to TMZ, DaBaby has pleaded guilty to misdemeanor battery as part of a plea deal. This agreement spares him from jail time, but includes one year of probation and a $10,000 restitution payment to the victim, Gary Pagar. Additionally, DaBaby must stay away from Pagar and refrain from possessing firearms during his probation period. This isn't the first time DaBaby has faced legal issues. Earlier this year, he was involved in another case where he was accused of assault at a bowling alley. The situation escalated when attempts to serve legal papers became challenging, highlighting ongoing legal challenges in his career. To illustrate the impact of this plea deal, let's consider how it fits into DaBaby's broader legal history and the implications for his career in the music industry. Understanding these legal battles can provide insight into the complexities faced by celebrities in maintaining their public image and legal standing. In conclusion, DaBaby's recent legal developments underscore the challenges faced by artists navigating fame and legal scrutiny. As always, we'll keep you updated on any developments in this story and more. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for further updates and exclusive content from the Red Carpet Reup.